All right, this first equation here, notice that we have a variable on both sides of our equation. And we have to get that variable on the same side. But first, we have to do a little bit of simplification. So if you take a look outside of parentheses here, we have a negative 8. So we have to distribute this negative 8 to each term inside the parentheses. So we're going to start with negative 8 times 1, which is negative 8. Then we have to multiply negative 8 times positive 4p, which is negative 32p. And this negative 8 is only being distributed with what's inside the parentheses. It's not part of the 7p, so we just drag positive 7p below. And then we bring down our equal sign, and then we bring down everything on the right side of the equal sign. There is nothing on the right side that we can simplify. These two terms are not like terms. So I just drop down negative 25 minus 8p. All right, now what we're going to do on the left-hand side is notice we have three terms, and two of the terms are like terms, the negative 32p and the positive 7p. So we're going to combine those two terms. Negative 8 doesn't have another constant on this side of our equation to combine with, so I just drop the negative 8. We have to combine negative 32p and positive 7p, which is negative 25p. And then we bring down our equal sign, and we bring down minus 25 and minus 8p. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to get our variable terms on one side of our equation and the constants on the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this negative 25p on the left-hand side. And if you keep it on the same side, you keep the signs the same. But I'm going to take this term here, negative 8p, and move it to the other side by writing the inverse of that, which is positive 8p. All right? Now, we're going to put our constants on the right side. And on the right, we already have a negative 25. And we're going to take this constant on the left, negative 8, and move it on the right, which is positive 8. Now on the left, we have two terms that can be combined. And on the right, we have two constants that can be combined. So let's go ahead and do that. We have positive 8p and negative 25p, which is a total of negative 17p. And on the right side, negative 25 plus 8 is negative 17. We divide both sides by 17, I'm sorry, by negative 17. And on the left side, anything divided by itself is positive 1. Negative 17 divided by negative 17 is positive 1p. And on the right side, same thing, negative 17 divided by itself, negative 17, is positive 1. So p is equal to positive 1. All right, for this problem here, we have to distribute on both sides of our equation. So we're going to take 4 and multiply it by 3r, which is 12r. And 4 times 4 is 16, is equal to negative 8 times 2r, and that is negative 16r. And negative 8 times positive 5, which is negative 40. All right. So what we're going to do now is get all of our r terms on the left side of our equation and all of the constants on the right side. So 12r is already on the left, so we keep it there. But we're going to migrate negative 16r to the left-hand side of the equation, which would be plus 16r. Now on the right side, we already have a constant of negative 40 over there, so we're going to leave that alone. But we are going to write the inverse of positive 16, which is negative 16 on the other side of the equation. All right, now we can combine everything on the left because they are like terms as we can on the right. 12r plus 16r is 28r. And on the right side, negative 40 and negative 16, which are both negative integers, have to be added for a total of negative 56. Now to isolate our variable, we just divide by the coefficient. So we have 28 divided by 28, which is 1r is equal to negative 56 divided by 28, which is equal to negative 2. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials to my math channel. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.